Welcome everybody to Streets of Rage, a game developed by Sega and released for the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis in 1991. I'm Cenozoic and I'm here to take on this game. Streets of Rage is a side-scrolling beat-em-up which casts the player as one of three characters, Adam, Axel and Blaze, all of whom are former city police officers battling the crime syndicate led by the game's antagonist, Mr X. The game was released for the Mega Drive in October 1991 and I have great memories of this game in terms of its characters, its gameplay, and above all, its brilliant chiptune music. While I recall completing the game in two-player mode with a friend, I've not previously attempted to play the game in its toughest difficulty setting in single-player mode. That is what I'm going to do in this video, and I'm hoping to progress as far as possible before I run out of lives. So, let's put the game on the hardest difficulty setting, which is called, appropriately, Hardest. The three characters have their strong and not so strong points, and overall I like Blaze's balance of attributes. I'll play as her, as she is the fastest mover, and I like her jump attacks and her throws. It's time to hit the streets.
Well, I nearly made it through three rounds of the game there, but came unstuck against the round three boss, who is referred to outside of the game as Abadid. He's apparently based on the wrestler Ultimate Warrior, and his clothesline certainly finished me off there. There are eight rounds or locations in the full game, and I felt I could have gone further if I'd been more careful using the special attacks, which are when you get assistance from the police car that fires explosives and kills all the enemies on screen. But it was a good go at the game in its hardest difficulty mode, and of course we got to enjoy Yuzo Koshiro's brilliant electronic music, which was acclaimed at the time of the game's release, and has really helped Streets of Rage to live on in gamers' memories. I'm Cenozoic, thanks for watching.